throw is Devin Scott. Sets, throws it out, and five, picked off, Darren Howard, 20, 15, 10, 5, Howard, touchdown, Kansas State, Darren Howard's first career interception, and he takes it back for a touchdown. Great defense by Kansas State. K-State's defensive tackle was in the quarterback's face, making him throw the football, making it a situation where he could not see Darren Howard, and he threw the football toward Darren Howard. Howard jumped up in the air, made the catch, and then outran everybody to the end zone for a K-State defensive touchdown. The Cats roll the Owls in week one, 40 to nothing. Beasley turns, play action fake. Jonathan back in the pocket, looking downfield, throws it downfield to Quincy Morgan, makes a catch, 25, 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Kansas State. Beasley hits Morgan for the second straight week, this time from 58 yards out. I formation by Jonathan Beasley. Two wide receivers in the pattern of the far side. Play action fake. Beasley back. Lofts a pass down toward the goal line. Quincy Morgan goes up. The ball is caught by Morgan at the five. He leaps into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Quincy Morgan just stolen away from the defensive back near the goal line and goes in his second touchdown of the ball game. Five wide outs in the pattern this time. Stucky in a shot. Got on third and 11. Back to throw. Case in a blitz. He throws it over the middle. Picked off. Picked off by Lamar Chapman at the 40. Chapman to midfield to the 40. Has one man to beat. 30 gets a Block 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Kansas State. Lamar Chapman gets the pick. That's his third career interception, and he takes this one back for six points. I remember they had went to um, five wide receivers, and, you know, they didn't have any backs. And all week in practice, Coach Bennett wanted me to uh, cover their best receiver, and I think he was number seven, and they had moved him, you know, inside, you know, and Coach told me line up inside, and he said, you know, uh, get off because, you know, we're going to have the ends dropping. And once uh, Darren dropped, Darren dropped right in front of him, and I guess the quarterback didn't see Darren, and he threw the ball right to me. And you know, Darren did a great job of getting in the way of the receiver, and you know, the quarterback didn't see him, and he threw the ball right to me. Final score: K State 40, UTEP 7. Jose Fuentes is in now at quarterback for the Aggies with one back behind him, three wide receivers in the pattern of the near side. He was picked off on the first half, throws a pass. This one's picked off. Milton Proctor, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas State. Milton Proctor jumped the route, picks off a pass, and takes it in for six points. His second career interception, Milton Proctor picked up the tight end who was moving from left to right, had him all the way across the field, and when his ball was thrown, all he had to do was jump up in front of the tight end, and he had open field in front of him to take it the rest of the way for a K-State touchdown, and a K-State defense making a play again, takes it in. Milton Proctor scores a TD. High formation behind Beasley, runs the option play, makes the pitch to Joe Hall, gets a block on the corner, Hall up to the 20, 25, Joe Hall cuts back, 30, 35, Hall to the 40, 45 yard line, Hall to midfield to the Utah State 45 and finally pulled down at the 40 yard, at the 40 yard line of Utah State. The tackle was made by Elijah Bell of the Aggies. Pitch out of the eye formation to Joe Hall, third and two steps inside, five, touchdown, Joe Hall gets a nice block on a corner from John Lazatich, his second touchdown of the day, and Kansas State now leads 32 to nothing. Joe Hall shows great patience on the option to the left side. He stretches it clear to the sideline, and there's still defenders who are out on the sideline, so he waits for his K-State blockers to push them outside. Then he cuts back up inside and takes it in untouched. K-State improves to 6-0 on the season, with a 40 to nothing victory over Utah State. The upstart Cyclones shocked K-State with four first half touchdowns to take a 28 to seven halftime lead. K-State's coaches adjusted at halftime and senior quarterback Adam Helm came off the bench to direct a stunning second half comeback. The Cats rally with 28 unanswered points for the greatest comeback victory in school history. I don't know if there was a turning point. It was more of a, a wake-up call to let us know that, hey, you know, this is the Big 12 and we got to do everything right and not take things for granted and play as hard as we can and not make mistakes because we were making some mistakes and we weren't totally in sync with what we were trying to do. And I think that was more of a wake-up call heading into Big 12 play. K-State's first drive of the second half began at its own 20. 11 plays and 80 yards later, Helm scored from two yards out, trimming the deficit to 28-14. Carl Gomez, only his second punt of the game. First one went for 40 yards. David Allen back deep for K-State. Cats could use a big punt return by Allen. Gomez gets the snap. 
Fumbles a little bit, but recovers, kicks it away to Allen, who's going to catch it inside the 10 at about the 7. Allen gets up field to the right side of the 10, the 15 to the 20, breaks free. Allen to the 30, cuts to the outside, cuts back again to the 40, to the midfield, to 50, to the 30, to the 20, to the 15, 10, 5. Oh, baby, touchdown, Kansas State. David Allen rockets up 93 yards. It's his sixth career touchdown, and the Cats are to within eight points. Well, you know, we, we went in down, like you said, 21, and we knew that, you know, something had to happen in order for us to get back into this ball game because, you know, the kind of season that we were looking forward to and the things that we were, you know, looking forward to down the road, we, we knew that by not winning this game that those things could have been achieved. And, you know, and I just, you know, that hadn't put in the whole first half, and I was just waiting for an opportunity to get a chance to return one. And, you know, they gave us one, a good one, and unfortunately we had a chance to take it back. And I think, you know, that was a big turnaround to the game. You know, it got the momentum on our side, and I think it kind of took the win out of their side a little bit. And, for the momentum on our side, and off that, I think the defense and offense stepped it up and played a great game after that. Helm directed another long drive to tie the game, this time engineering a nine-play, 75-yard march capped by Frank Murphy's 18-yard touchdown run. In less than 10 minutes, K-State had turned a 21-point deficit into a 28-28 tie with 10 minutes left in the game. One final drive, this one covering 62 yards in 11 plays, completed the comeback. Well, the last drive, I was just thinking, you know, we just got to do what we've been doing, you know, not, not get all excited about what's going to happen because we never knew what was going to happen. And, you know, it can swing the other way just like that by, you know, turning the ball over, fumbling it. And so I was trying not to let that creep into my head because the game would have been nothing if we would have lost. I mean, the comeback would have been nothing, would have been nothing for anybody. So uh, we tried to take things one at a time, one play at a time. I kept telling the guys, you know, everything will work out fine. Just take one play at a time, and we marched down the field, and uh, we were able to get it done. Helm, under center, turns, runs the option, gets hit, drives, touchdown! Adam Helm fights his way in there for his second touchdown. Second touchdown of the game for Adam Helm, and the Wildcats take the lead, 34-28. The Cats stave off Iowa State's upset bid and win in Ames, 35-28.